welcome to the Mike Finelli One Network here on YouTube and welcome back to the Timothy Lovejoy My Player Series here on NBA 2K12. In the last episode, he he went to South Beach. He went to South Beach, but unfortunately got pulverized by by the Miami Heat, and and he demanded a trade. So yes, this is the teams he demanded to trade to: the the Utah Jazz, the Los Angeles Clippers, and the Lakers. But unfortunately, the only team that teams are interested in him now are the Phoenix Suns and the uh, the Utah Jazz. As yes, he is wearing the Mad Tea Party shoes for this episode. So now in this episode, we're going to play in this next key game and hopefully you're finding out where he's going to. But unfortunately, not yet. Because this could be the last time we'll be seeing him putting on the Knicks uniform. At the 26-21 and 21 New York Knicks. Take on the New Jersey Nets, which are now Brooklyn Nets, which were caused a lot of bit of nerves that they almost got Dwight Howard from the Lakers, from the Magic, who ironically, who Dwight Howard was ironically at a Dodger game. Yes, I'm dead serious, because I just read Lakers Nation while getting ready for this one. Here, yeah, there you see the next entering out into the tunnel, so we're now heading to Madison Square Garden. What, did, did they get LeBron, really? No, oh, Damien, excuse me. There's Deron, Deron Williams. That's what I'm saying is keep saying his name wrong the whole time. <laughs> yeah, and the New York Knicks have been in the news recently, and it is now official, ladies and gentlemen. Jeremy Nick, Jeremy Lin is no longer a member of the Knicks. He is now a member of the Houston Rockets. So, now Trevor Lovejoy is on the court as the shooting guard. Alright, so guard against Gaines as there's the Zark as there's right and they score. So now it has to stop Brooks. They lost the max power, really? So there you see Reverend Lovejoy continuing and he gives it to Noah wearing number 42 again. Weird odd number choices. As there's Reverend Lovejoy, who that should have been foul, but unfortunately wasn't. As the Nets continued to dominate. And uh, speaking of the Nets, I gotta say, uh, I won't be surprised if the jerseys for the, for the Nets look like the ones you see here. Only black and white. Because, come on, they're taking this through from the Kings. Because they went black and white. And look how well that turned out. Uh oh, I guess Reverend Lovejoy is probably regretting making this decision. And, uh oh, the, the new multi million dollar man, Chris Humphreys, is out on the court. As here we go, as Reverend Lovejoy continues to, as he gives it the boozer, as he scores. So no assist there, which sucks, but oh well, he'll make it. As Sasha Vujicic, ironically a former Laker, which many people think 
should come back, even though he was really funny on Jimmy Kimmel when they beat the Celtics to win the 2010 Larry O'Brien Trophy, which was the last championship ever won prior to the late to the Kings winning the Stanley Cup for the very first time. As as there's Reverend Lovejoy, as unfortunately makes a bad pass to Jerome Williams, as Jerome Travis outlaw trying to give it in and they miss this, but look out! Ugh. Oh boy, this is this is really the pressure is really on Reverend Lovejoy. There's Boozer and he gets a good pass and once again no assist. So I swear the refs are keep the officiating is really screwing Reverend Lovejoy over. Holy needs a prayer. Can I get an amen? As right now, as with two sec, one second left, as and that is it, and and that is the buzzer beater, and at the end of one, the score is tied at 20, and we'll be back after a word from our sponsor. Boo. Ooh, battle of number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. Okay, let's stop that. As Reverend Lovejoy is back on the bench, as as the Knicks are clobbering the net right now, 48 to 50. And now it's time for HP at the half. Take it away, buddy. And a fun game going on out in New York as HB presents our halftime report. These two with no problems putting up points. They're leading their teams in first half scoring. And now let's go around the league to catch up on other NBA action. Philadelphia with a loss to the Hawks at Phillips Arena. It wasn't Ooh, even close. So a big disappointment for this club. Probably Andre the Hawks won. had the team high. <laughs> And checking out another game that wrapped up. The Clippers grabbed the win against okay, the Pacers in Indiana. With that there. game in the books, they... And now Reverend Lovejoy is back out on the court as he is probably the shooting guard and do not commit a turnover. Okay. Because how many turnovers does he have? Oh yeah, one. As he is in as shooting guard once again. There is the Reverend Lovejoy as he uh, makes the turnover. So, so much for that goal. Dynamic goal. He failed that one epically. Because right now, as we speak, we are seeing him. See him. See him putting on another uniform. So he is daydreaming right now because right now as of every contract with these, each of these characters if they get three F's in, in their teammate grades they're fired and someone else will replace them and their file will be deleted except their playlist you'll see them whenever you want to as there's Scola and a great shot right there for Scola but there's one thing that's missing Oh yeah, look at the teammate grade. Look at that. Zero, zero, zero. Now, geez, he better start running. Like the, he's seeing people doing audience participation. <laughs> there's Grandma. Bad block attempt. Really? I thought that was a good one. But guess not. Oh, I missed. How is that a back call for a pass? Explain that to me. And there it is. As there's Reverend Lovejoy's first shot points of the night. Definitely, I agree. I mean, sometimes it forces you to be a bit more creative in that situation. 
and unfortunately he allowed him to score, so that sucked right there. But that's okay. That's okay. He he gave it his best as he gives it and another bad pass. So D minus four as look at this. I thought Reverend Lovejoy got it, uh, but again, Coach didn't recognize it, so, oh well. As there you see, Gaines! And right now, the Knicks, right now, they are blowing it at this point. Should've passed it! As he gives it to Wright. Huh. <laughs> Rob Joy versus Wright. But it's not the Phoenix Wright that we know and love. And unfortunately, New Jersey made that shot, so the Nets are up by three here. So the Nets have to do something to keep this thing alive. So there's Reverend Lovejoy, and he drew a foul. So free throw line for Mr. Lovejoy. There we go. And another perfect release. So at least Reverend Lovejoy is impressing everybody. Williams with the ball. He's got 21. Takes it to Outlaw. Launches it. Carlos Boozer pulls it in. And right now you can see he is making it close. And there's Reverend Lovejoy again. As he continues to show that he can still, he can make it anywhere, even if it is not the Big Apple in the future. And now with five seconds left to go, he found Williams and unfortunately he didn't do anything, but he still got good shot defense, but that's the end of the third quarter with the, with the score, the Nets. The score is the Nets 60, the 64, the Nets 63, and we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors again for February 6th. Yeah, Lakers again. I swear the Sixers will be doing something in this episode. What's next? Do they want Max Power to come back? I mean, he got a standing ovation for the first time he got there, so... Yep, he's on the fence as... Oh, they're calling him out! Oh, okay. This is kind of interesting. An interesting move. Because I did not see this coming. I guess the coaching staff of, of the Knicks, he knows that this is the last hurrah for Reverend Lovejoy here at the Big Apple, but he'll be back someday, hopefully when the coaching staff gets it together and don't get a good point guard of the future. And get rid of Aaron Brooks, so... There you see Reverend Lovejoy trying to dip it in and he gets blocked. Ugh. 
and unfortunately there is the leave assignment, but he's back at a C average with that good shot defense. But not for long, because if he makes another play like that, he's going to be getting another back call for pass. But look at this. Makes a pass to Carmelo Anthony, then gives it to Boozer. And now with three seconds left, they got to make the shot. They make it. And now a timeout has been called. As the most of the Knicks are saying, what they want to order for dinner tonight once it's over, because there's a lot of classy restaurants in downtown New York. Here's Williams. Right now. Now Vujicic. Outside Williams. Oh, he almost got a steal there. Oh well. So, as now with less than 30 seconds left, and Aaron Brooks, and it's now 91-80. And right now, all that is left right now is the final countdown. There you see Reverend Lovejoy with those six points. And he wants to make it eight, but he decided, let's give Melo a chance. I mean, and, ah, oh, turnover, really? There's number four. Oh, my God. That's a little embarrassing, but we won the game. The next win, 91-82. And he only lost 20 skill points, which that isn't really bad. But... It could have been worse if they would have lost. So they got the win. Now it is time for the press conference. In three, two, one. Yeah, I actually called it. We're starting to hear reports that you have recently requested a trade to another team. Any truth to those rumors? Well, he doesn't want to be a Roberto Rojo, so there's only one way to answer this. First of all, this is a good group of guys, uh, one that I'm proud to be a part of. If there are any rumors out there, they didn't come from my camp, I can assure you of that. Why don't you tell that to Dwight Howard's camp right now? I mean, I swear, things right now are looking good for Mr. Re for Reverend Lovejoy. As you can see, as he's not there right now as... No acceptable trades were found to the desired teams? What? And we'll see you guys later.